Hello everyone, back again at Sanctuary. I've got a two-parter for you this time. We're going to be making the... Effectively the entrance to Sanctuary. The reason for this was because I wanted to mentally commit myself to actually using all of the build area in on the island, basically. I've been kind of umming and ahhing as to whether I am actually going to cover the entirety of the Sanctuary available build area. This is me just basically going, right, we are actually committing. Plus, it's a kind of neat little entrance way that I just wanted to get out now, so at least we have a kind of visual element of where the boundaries are. Then after that, I finally got my little chem shack set up, which I think you'll approve of. So firstly, and also the chem shack um, will actually be useful for a different style of shop as well. Right, so with this one, it's pretty straightforward. I wanted to use these two, like a lot of people probably have, these two stone pillars um, as the actual boundary. I'm also checking to make sure that fits in. Um, to, as, as the actual boundary for the gatehouse. It's nothing massively fancy, to be completely honest. But it's quite satisfying looking. It uses actually the, the same technique that we have for a lot of the... For the upper level walkways in the castle. But also I use this as my kind of sky bridge in Egret Tours Marina. One thing I could note as well, right? You know how I did it there? Where I've got these little uh, shack wall, uh, shack roof and wall parts. I always, because you can't put those walls on until you've done the little end wall parts, right? I always, you watch this in my beard, it's gonna, my build, and it's going to start annoying you as well, is I always forget to put the wall end parts on first, so I have to always take those off. <laughs> I'll be like, oh shit, yeah, it's really starting to annoy me. I might actually start punishing myself if I do it again. <laughs> um, with this part here, um, I do eventually. Yeah. Initially, I was going to, because I wanted it to look quite secure, but also I want lots of balconies so we can my settlers can peek out. We actually end up putting two guard posts, kind of squeezing them in. But initially I was thinking of making it look a little bit more secure with the metal, and then I kind of scrapped the whole idea because it was a little bit too repetition. And don't worry, we sleep. Quick note, because obviously the shitty weather, so you can't see it so well. I really like rain in this game, but I absolutely bloody hate the fog with a fiery passion. I mentioned this on Twitter the other day. And if you guys live in Boston, can you tell me whether it's as foggy as it appears to be in this goddamn game? Because it's making me want to stab our eyes. Legitimately <laughs> stab our eyes with a pen. So, I decided to say screw it. Right, now, um, also, another commitment, me mentally committing, is I never normally scrap these houses. So again, this is, this is an emotional moment for Davey where he's going, right, we're going to do it. I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. One thing, um, what I did here, if you want to speed up when you're doing these little guard tower areas, or if you're, you know, securing a windmill stand, I, I like to use this technique quite a lot, y you can use these corner pieces. The only reason I use these is because of those pillars. It, it, there are little gaps in between them, which is why I don't normally use them, but because of those big stone walls, I knew it might be difficult for us to actually squeeze in a fence post. I mean, the uh, the actual fence pieces, so I decided to say, screw it, let's go for these. They can be a little bit fiddly, and also, they don't necessarily, as I said, they don't always connect fully. But they're a good way, maybe if you, for whatever reason, just feel like you're being a bit lazy. They're also quicker as well, which is great fun. So we're just squeezing those in there. This, what you may notice, all those bloody Brahmin, because initially what I've been doing for ages is using Sanctuary as the effective end point where all of my um, supply lines go to. One of the reasons why I'm actually building up all of the starting settlements, the earlier settlement shall we say, is so we can actually start having a chain, a actual supply chain as opposed to definitely the wall going to sanctuary because it's actually getting really bloody annoying. I had to record this three or four times, this little section here, because the, the Brahmin kept getting in the fucking way. Incidentally, at some point I really should record my reaction to things like that happening because... I may have mini-nuked them several times. <laughs> it was quite fun, I must admit, actually. At one point, they were bunched up together, and I just blew them all to shreds. It was great fun. In a minute, because what I'm doing right now is just what you've already seen. 
the shop, I really, really like this shop build. Now, it's very similar to the original shop build you know, I made in my, I think it was my third ever video, and I'm very pleased to say that I've seen that shop build all over the internet. It seems to have spread like wildfire. That's one of my, I think my second highest viewed video. Um, but basically, I was watching one of my subscribers... Uh, it was actually sent, I didn't realise, I didn't actually realise she made videos, though we chat on Twitter sometimes, um, which is a YouTuber called The Mad Queen Show, and she does some really cool shop ideas for the front parts, like using actual, the, I I'll link the video in the description, it's really, really good, and I don't use her ideas, but it did kind of remind me that I had become a little complacent in my building style a lot, bit like what she was doing, I'd, I'd never even considered doing because I was so content with the way I did stuff. So what I end up doing is making something out of completely metal, and I kind of try different ideas, but I'm going to link her video in the description, the one that I watched the other day, and I definitely having a look, recommend having a look at it, because she literally, she I think shows about three or four different ways, or three ways of doing shops, but also she does a little kind of quick tour at the front, and like, for example, she's put a load of my style shops together into this like kind of market stall front, which I really like, which I might do as well. Um, so, if you guys ever have videos that you, you know, any anything cool that you've made as well, please um, message me or you can comment the video, just don't spam. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, her, her kind of, so thank you Mad Queen's Grove for kind of giving me a, a Mad Queen show rather, um, for giving me a kind of a little mental kick in the arse, shall we say, to actually do something more interesting. Now, you see what happened there? That fucking annoyed me. Basically, if you don't see what happened, I took the rug off, and it immediately sank straight into the ground. Now, I am going to use this gre this grey rug here. I don't take it off. The reason being is I know it's just particularly... It's, it's not to do... Sometimes it just does it, right? And sometimes if you exit the game and go back in and do stuff, it you can actually then take the rug out, and it won't sink like that. So I'm going to leave that rug there, and I won't take it out during this video, because it might just be me fiddling around with this part here, but I, I know if I take that off, that'll shunt straight into the ground. But it looks good right now, and worst case scenario, I can just move that rug so it's underneath those pile of leaves. And then we're actually building my wee little kind of shack stairs thing. This this right here is it's quite a nice little simple gatehouse build. I'm gonna... I'm looking forward to patch 1.4 because we're getting lots of signs and stuff that I actually want to start decorating things with, so I'm kind of leaving these things a little bit blank. And I will be doing a video on the 1.4 patch, shall we say. This is pretty cool. Some people, had, I actually prefer this because some people had asked me, or occasionally asked me to do a little kind of build of my original sanctuary's kind of entrance way, which I, I think looks really shit, to be honest. <laughs> it's it's, just a, it's just, a, just a normal bridge, like, you know, two bridges and, like, just boards. But this one's a lot better. Now, this is a bit of a fiddly little thing. Now, this obviously doesn't look massively great, what I'm doing. I I'm going to decorate and things. I don't decorate inside, but I am going to sort these out. But I wanted to have guards standing, looking out over the road. This one was a complete nightmare. You'll see it flashing green loads. It's not that it's... It's because it's such a small millimetre of... Like, just, let's see, I can never click it quick enough. What I end up doing is I... You can hear that? That's me just slamming X loads until I get in. I do get it in, don't worry. Now imagine this is a, this was in real time. There we go, we get her in there. Glorious. And it's just going to lift up so it doesn't shake like crazy. But that's my little gatehouse build. You may notice as well, this video is only 15 minutes long. I'm going to try and get these down to under 20 minutes from now on because I think it's a lot more bite size. It's a lot more... I can get more concise of what we're doing and also this weekend, not for this one, but I'm going to try and up the quality of these a little bit, maybe add a little bit of kind of music, potentially something quite quiet, potentially even some kind of editing overlay stuff as well. I'm going to try and up the quality of the videos a little bit. So I don't end up trying to fuck around with this stupid flag. <laughs> I want to just kind of add a little bit of decoration, but that's pretty much my entry. I'm going to add floodlights and things like that. I'm trying to hold off again with some of the decoration because we're going to be getting stuff in a new patch and there might be new options that I kind of see. So that's my little entrance, that's my commitment. Now, as I said, this is my shop idea. And again, second shout out, Mad Queen Show's video on shops will be linked in the description below. Highly suggest you take a look and also subscribe to her channel as well because she does good stuff. Now, this I'm very chuffed with. Now, I like this one because I was, I had an idea in my head of what I wanted to do. 
but then I still learn stuff as I'm going. And this is, to my, for me, the most satisfying kind of build is where I kind of, like I said, what I want to do is this was the shape it was going to be. It was going to be metal structure. I was definitely going to move um, uh, an actual clinic in there. But then I noticed that if I take those off, these stairs looked really nice as supports underneath the actual metal prefab. So it just kind of looks cool. It also slightly makes the concrete superfluous, but whatever, it's fine. Now, I don't put them on the front. So we're going to do that little stairs technique that we do in my other shops. I've been a bit of a <laughs> special moment at the back here. I wanted these to be like... You, you'll see, you can see this in the screenshot, so you know I'm the uh, thumbnail, rather. And if you're on Twitter, you, I, I shared the screenshot earlier. But um, I, I really like this. It's kind of a, a drug-dealing hole in the wall. I might even try a different style, because I want two clinics in the settlement. Because of the fact that clinics are apparently the ones which boost up the happiness the most. Bars and clinics, basically. And I kind of want to because I tend to hover around about I mean I'm on 77 happiness right now I'm probably on about 80 now the style of this would really suit and this is effectively a new shop design this would work in any kind of shop I, I, I try and do a little fence thing but it doesn't really work out or I get impatient and say fuck it but this would work especially as any ammo like for your, your gun seller or your armor vendor or anything like that this is a really nice new style and there's a lot going on in the front, is the best way to describe it. And also the kind of contrast between the wood and the metal is, is quite satisfying. This, I think this just, this works. Now eventually, in a minute I put the clinic in. And I have to move it further forward than I would normally to make sure the sign saying clinic is actually in front of the top part. Also, two things. One, I have 4,000 caps and I have not played this very much since... Because I've been playing Far Cry. Um, since I, uh, since my last Let's Build. So, just how many caps I get from just having all these settlements is insane. It's so cool. <laughs> and also, for those who don't know, caps you get from settlements actually are usable for all workshops. So, basically, you don't have to go to each workshop and each settlement to actually collect the caps. So that's why I have 4,000, even though I don't have 4,000 on me. And you see that? See the metal bit at the front of the clinic? So, the bottom, the actual, I guess, stand of the, the stool is obviously poking through the front. Now, initially, I was like... Now, I actually knew what I what was probably going to have to do, but I think of different ideas. You see, I'm looking at it there. So, what I have to do is actually take that star staircase off bit... Um, staircase bit off and do it again. But I was like, oh, maybe I can do something else. But it looks cool and it is worth it. Trust me. So there we go. Looking at that, it looks really grand already. I thought of different ideas. I was thinking of using the rug glitch, pushing that in, and maybe making a little metal table. But what I do, I'm quite chuffed with when I get over to my little moment here. Davy, it's not going to work, mate. Give it up. Get, get, no, no, David. Do it. There we go. There we go. I just take them off. I didn't actually need to scrap everything. I just did. Because why not? I didn't scrap. I store everything, rather. So, basically, I'm just going to move that back. Put the little floorboards on. And then I'm actually going to put the railings at the back. Like that. But, um, obviously, I have to get the stairs straight now. Which is a bit of a pain in the knob. But we get there eventually. It looks pretty cool. See, that isn't even the right angle. You see it. I can see it now. Look at it. it doesn't, it's not the right angle. And it's, it's not straight. And that made me cringe. So, take them off. Perfection, people. Perfection. Come on. Atta boy. Yeah. Awesome. And then we had all the shit on. I actually probably not completely straight. Cod's Earth with his bowler hat. Looking rather smooth. I really like what's going on. Like how much... I might end up doing that little, uh, for the, because uh, I'm going to make another one of these, so I might end up trying to do, like, a little wire fence around it or something like that, but I like, I like what's going on in the front of this. It looks very, very busy. It, it's, it's very satisfying. Once that gets in there. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, love it. Oh, and then I forget the door. And we're getting new doors in the latest patch as well, so I will go around and replace a lot of these doors. So there we go, guys. Nice little short one for you. Here is... Oh, I sped up the end again. Sorry about that. I always forget to speed up the end. So I sped up the end. Sorry about that. Um, another settlement. Um, this week we'll have more Fallout videos, we already noticed, because 
I'm mean, going playing The Division next week, and then it will be the three Fallout videos a week kind of situation. I'm sorry about the tour at the end being sped up. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. If you ever want to bother me, obviously always follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. And also, as then, go look at the Mad Queen Show's video, and also subscribe to the channel, because she does useful tips. You people take care. Bye.